Good evening, Matt. Um, sorry for this being a late vlog. Um, I completely forgot to vlog yesterday. Uh, I don't really know what happened. I just didn't vlog. Um, I think it actually it was that I got home from work and then the parents were like, hey, let's go out to eat. And so we went out to Quiet Pint and had a great dinner um, with Todd and, and the family. And um, then while we were out to dinner, Knox called me and was like, hey, do you want to go out to get some coffee tonight? Um, so I went out after dinner with her and went up to Starbucks and hung out there for uh, a few hours. And so then I got home and it was late and I was tired. So I went to bed, I bet. Uh, and so that's why I did not vlog yesterday. But that is good because I had not watched your vlog yet from this past weekend on Monday. Which, I also had a day off. And this weekend, um, I was relaxing. Because Friday and between Friday and Saturday, I worked 23 hours. Um, which was a lot. I don't know why I did. I, I did it basically to help out a buddy of ours. Um, and so, yeah. So now that that's done and he's back home and, and stuff like that, we're, we may be seeing him again at the end of the week uh, doing more work. So I also want to answer your question today of what books I'm looking forward to reading or have been reading or have bought and wanted to read. Um, so mainly is I recently bought the entire collection of a manga series called The Library Wars. And it's really fun. I've read the first uh, three books, I believe. Um, and so far, it's a really good uh, short manga, but it's really awesome. There's only 15 volumes, though, sadly. Um, so I will quickly run out of those because I can usually read one in a day. Because um, it's not that much. It's only like four or five chapters per manga. But they're all like the picture, cart you know, not cartoon, comic strip type thing. Um, so they kind of read very fast. Other than that, I've uh, on my bookshelf over here that you probably have seen before, I have Paper Towns um, by John Green, which is something that I've wanted to be reading for a very long time because Knox was like, I'll watch the movie with you, but you have to read the book first. And so um, that is what I'm going to try to do. And, you know, hopefully I can eventually read it. <laughs> um, I have fallen into the pit of video games. I've been having a lot of fun playing um uh, a game called West of Loathing. Uh, it's kind of like a old Flash game that was ported over to being on Steam, and it's like a RPG type thing, but it's like West style themed, and it's pretty cool, uh, pretty very very interesting, and in, on in some of the things that uh, it talks about. Um, I also still have that comic, uh, the Walking Dead comic, right over here, and I still have not read that, and I feel really bad because I asked for that for my birthday, and I really should read it. Like, I need to. Uh, I need to plan some time out, uh, but, so I'm sorry about that, I haven't read that yet, but I will eventually, as my good little time has been, um, I don't really know what else, I have that, those couple mythology books that I borrowed from Knox that I need to, I need to read, um, I'm pretty far in that, I just need to finish that book, it's the part, uh, I believe part of the Percy Jackson series, maybe not. No, it's it's the mythology something. I don't know. Um, but that's that's really fun. I think I've talked about that before when I was really pumped to start studying some of the North, Norse. I can't pronounce that. Norse. There you go. Mythology. And so, yeah, so that, you know, that's really all of the books that I've recently either acquired or have wanted to read. As you know, I'm not as much of a reader as you, and I don't think I have 316 books. Um, but I did something similar, uh, last month, actually. I helped, well, all of, all during the summer, as you know, Mom and I went yard sailing every Saturday, so that was a lot of fun, and we got a lot of books. And, you know, I did not collectively, or I did not collect them up and catalog them with her, but she had to go through and catalog them, and by the end of it, we pretty much had about 300 books that were going into her classroom. And what I did is I organized them all in her bookshelves in her room so that they were all alphabetized by author and then by title. So, you know, that was a lot of fun. And I got to put a lot of my old books. I cleaned out like an entire shelf or two of books from my own room that were just taking up space that I was never really going to read again because they were kind of low. Um, 
And if I ever do want to read again, I can just check them out of mom's classroom, quote unquote, and have them that way. And so really, you know, it's, it's I'm donating the books to a good cause, um, which is mom's fourth graders this year. So, well, I think that's going to be about it for this vlog. Sorry again, that was a little late. I hope you enjoyed um, learning about my weekend and a little bit of uh, my book adventures recently. And I look forward to seeing your Thursday Top 5 tomorrow. Have a good one, Matt.